Now, so here what we see is um, how much firms produce over time, and we can see that most of the time they could produce more, but they don't because they don't have uh, customers that show up. But in addition, there is another measure of flight that you can see when firms produce durable goods. Because what may happen is that firms may continue producing, they may produce these durable goods, say cars, but then you know there may be no demand for these cars. And so these cars, they are just going to pile up in inventory. So another measure of slides that you might see is that you would see inventories increase a lot in recession just because the firms are not able to sell them. Um, and indeed, that's exactly what, what you see. Um, so if you go on Fred, um, on the Fred database, you can look at the fluctuation in inventory in certain industries. And uh, in particular, you can look at uh, inventory fluctuation in the car industry. And here's what you can see. So here I've pulled up uh, the data from Fred. So this is uh, the ratio between the total amount of uh, car inventory in the US to the total amount of sales. And you can see that in normal times, you know, you have a ratio that's maybe two. So basically what firms do is that given the amount of sales that they predict at any point in time, they keep twice that amount of sales as inventory. Okay. Um, so that's just how the firms operate. But what you can see is that in recession, you see a massive increase uh, in the ratio between inventory and sales. Um, and so you can see it here. You can see it here. Um, so this is again the Great Recession. And you can see that in the Great Recession, the ratio between inventory and sales for cars went up from around two to above four. So the ratio doubled. Um, same thing happened during um, the COVID recession. And so this really shows that in recession, you know what, uh, you have a big, you know, these trade problems on these product markets uh, really become worse and it becomes much harder to sell. And so you see this big pileup in inventory. And a last thing I want to show you is that we've talked about the labor market. We've talked about the product market, but in a sense, it's the problem like is even broader than that. You have additional markets where you do see, uh, you do, do see slack too. And one market where this is very well documented is actually the housing market. And here again, uh, you can turn to uh, Fred and find data on that. And so um, these are uh, data that I pulled up from Fred, and this is showing you an estimate of the housing inventory in the US. So these are uh, houses that are vacant at any point in time. Um, so these are houses that could provide housing services to people, but they remain vacant. So that's really a measure of slack. And again, it's very wasteful. And uh, so you, first thing you can see once again that at any point in time, a lot of units are vacant. So there is a lot of waste. You can see that uh, the number of units that are vacant is between 14,000 and 20,000, but these are in thousands of units. So we're talking about between 14 million units and 20 million units uh, that are vacant. So this is, uh, this is a very large number. And the second thing that you can see, uh, let me flag that. The second thing that you can see is that, again, in recession, things get worse. So here, you know, the time series is not very long. It's from roughly 2001 to today. And what you can uh, uh, observe very clearly is that in the run-up to the Great Recession, the number of vacant units uh, went up a lot. You can see here, for instance, that's kind of around the time of the Great Recession. The number of vacant units in the US approached uh, 20 million. Um, and then as the economy recovered, uh, things got better. And in fact, during the COVID recession, the opposite happened because, uh, you know, everybody 
uh, had, had to live somewhere and you see a big plunge uh, in the number of vacant housing units. But nevertheless, so this is a market that's not a product market or labor market where you have a lot of slack uh, and that has a very uh, that, that can also be very costly. Uh, 